Separating purple finches from house finches is tricky for new birders. Many field guides say only male house finches have striped flanks. But in real life, male purple finches can have some streaks too. So let's look at better ways to tell them apart. First, I've got a quick tip to tell you how to separate female purple finches from female house finches. And then I've got a secret tip to tell male purple finches from male house finches. After that, I'll show you even more ways to tell them apart, sometimes even faster. We'll end with the description of songs and calls and how they differ, so stick around for that. Welcome. My name is Greg and I've been watching birds for over 50 years. I've seen a lot of house finches and a lot of purple finches in my time. In this video, I'll tell you exactly how to identify these lookalike finches so you can quickly recognize them and not waste time scrutinizing every finch and puzzling over whether it's different or not. If you live in the 48 contiguous states of the United States, you likely have house finches in your yard and at your bird feeder. Chances are also good that your first sighting of purple finch will also be at your feeder. Will you be ready? We're going to start with female purple finches. There are three reasons for this. First, female purple finches are more dominant at feeders than males. They spend more time there, so you're more likely to see them. Second, first-year males look just like females. They don't have any red. First-year birds are also more likely to show up at your feeder out of their normal range. Third, female purple finches are actually easier to tell apart from house finches than the males are. The quick and easy way to identify female and first-year purple finches is to look at their face pattern. The head pattern of the female purple finch shows a broad pale eyebrow and a malar stripe that wraps around the dark brown ear coverts. In contrast, the female house finch has a rather plain gray-brown side of face and unpatterned head. Remember how I said that first-year male purple finches were identical to females? Well, the adult male purple finch has the same head pattern, but it's washed all over with rosy pink. That means the dark ear coverts and crown still contrast with a pale pink eyebrow and malar stripe. The distinctive head pattern shows through the red coloration. And this is where the secret field mark for male purple finches comes in. The entire bird is washed with red, including the male purple finch shows two pink wing bars. The wings on house finch are brown and the wing bars are white. There's no red on the wings of house finch. The red of house finches is more reddish orange rather than the magenta color of purple finches. The forehead of house finches is the brightest red along with the chest and rump. There is a huge amount of variation though. Many birds have red on the head restricted to the forehead with a crown brown. Other individuals are extensively red over the head and onto the upper back. With a little practice though, you can quickly tell purple and house finches apart by shape alone. You don't have to rely on subtle color or facial pattern differences. If you're familiar with the house finch, you probably recognize the small round head, longer thin body, and longer tail. The purple finch is more compact. It has a larger head with a peaked crown. The tail is shorter. House finches are long and slim. Purple finches are short and front heavy. This gives them a different shape and is noticeable even in a quick scan of a flock of birds. Look at the bill. On house finch, the bill is short and stout. The upper ridge of the bill, called the culmen, is curved. The silhouette of the bill appears quite rounded. The bill on purple finch is larger and the culmen is straighter. The silhouette of the bill is quite triangular. Now look at the tail. The tail of house finch is rounded at the corners with a notch in the middle. The tail of purple finch is more deeply forked with sharply pointed tail corners. Now that we've covered the major plumage field marks and shape, I want to talk about eastern and western purple finches. They are subtly different. Up to this point, I've shown my photos of western purple finches. Female eastern purple finches are cleaner white with crisp, short, dark breast streaks. The eyebrow and malar are cleaner white. 
Male eastern purple finches are brighter overall, with cleaner pink breasts and less hint of brown streaking on the flanks. On both males and females, the bill is larger than western purple finches. Purple finches in the west tend to look slightly more like house finches. Their bill is shorter and their tail is longer than that of their eastern counterparts. Female purple finches in the west have blurry, not crisp, streaks on the yellowish breast. The eyebrow and malar stripe are not as clean and strong as on eastern birds. Western male purple finches are rather dingy brown, especially on the side of the breast. This can make them look similar to the streaked breasts of house finches. But fear not. Western purple finches have one field mark that really stands out as different from house finches. Their dark brown upper part feathers are actually olive green. This is very obvious on the rump of females and the wings of both genders. This is in contrast to the dusty gray-brown upper part feathers of house finches. If you are in the dry ponderosa forests of the western mountains or higher in the lodgepole pine, your red finch is likely to be a cassin's finch, not a purple finch. These finches are also found in the juniper and sage of the Great Basin. In winter, some move south into the deserts of Arizona and New Mexico. Cassin's finches are more cleanly brown and white than purple finches. Their bill is even larger and straighter. The males are brushed with delicate pink, reddest on the crown. Purple finches are found in cool, damp conifer forests, often mixed with deciduous trees. In winter, they are often found in shrubby second-growth woods, hedgerows, and residential feeders in wooded areas. Purple finches that nest across southern Canada migrate south into the eastern United States in winter. Some years they winter more widely. They are year-round residents in the Great Lakes region and the northeast. In the west, they are found in damp forests west of the Cascade and Sierra Nevada crest, from southern British Columbia to southern California. House finches are birds of residential yards across the United States, having been introduced into New York in the 1940s and having since spread throughout the East. In the West, they are also native birds of open country, ranches, and deserts near water, but they are most abundant near human settlements. They barely reach southern Canada and are found through Mexico. Purple and house finches sound different in both their songs and calls. House finches sing throughout the year. Both genders sing. The song doesn't have a definite form. It blends rapid musical notes with wiry squeaks and buzzy notes, often ending with a falling horse note, veer. Calls include soft squeaky chirps and rising reet notes. Purple finches sing a rapid structured musical series, often ending with two distinct notes. In the West, I hear it as a very fast, hurry little, hurry little, hurry little, hup hup. Eastern birds sing a bright, lively song, ending with a descending cheer note. The flight call is a hard plick. You may also hear whistled twee you notes. With these tips, you'll be able to tell purple and house finches apart in no time. You can do it.